This video will go over how to handle a lease signing in a folio. Click on send lease from the tenant dashboard. Choose the lease template. In this case, it's New York residential lease. Add any addendums to the lease, such as lead-based paint, insurance, any notices for fire sprinkler, etc. Choose the lease start date and end date. Add in any increase to the rent. Click prepare lease. Add a security deposit charge if there is one. The lease will then be generated. Just double check the dates, security deposit, print to PDF. Once you have that printed to PDF, you can send using hellosign.com. Click Just Others for a signature. Add the tenant's name and email address. Add the lease for signature. Then add in the tenant's name along with email. Add the landlord's name. If there's more than one tenant, add both tenants. In this case, there's two tenants. Click Prepare Docs for Signing. This will take you to the lease itself. And now you can scroll down and add any areas for initials. Make sure you have the right person selected. And add their initials to all the areas. And then once you have the initial set for one of the tenants, you can then add the signature. So in this case, we're going to go back and add the other initials for the second tenant. So scroll back down. There you have the first area for the initials. Make sure you change the tenant's name and then just go through the lease and add their initials in each area. And just be sure not to miss any area because they will end up not signing it and you'll have to go through this again. Okay, now once you have all those initials entered, we can go on to the signature. Click Signature. And make sure you have the right spot connected to the right tenant. Change the names. Add the landlord as well.
So in this case, there we have to go and add in the date of signature. Again, make sure it adds it matches up to the right person. So we have to add the landlord in this case. Go back to the signing page, and we're just going to add the landlord, and we should be all set after this. So add the landlord's name, and then date. and click continue and you're gonna go to the title I usually put the address for the lease signing and then just a short message please sign upon receipt a fully executed copy will be sent to you and then click request signature and there you go the lease has been sent. And you can see it's out for signature now. back to Appfolio and you can update this screen as well the lease signing date that way this will track when the lease is up